A pre-made shelf that can hold three 40-gallon breeders? Stay tuned. Hey, Jason with Jetter Aquatics here. Thanks guys for joining me again. So today we are going to talk about some uh, shelving choices. So if you guys remember, I built a three uh, level 40 gallon breeder rack and then the plan was to build another one. Well, I'd seen a video by Corey a couple of years ago about, uh, or it's a, it's a video that he made a couple of years ago about some shelving that he bought from, I think he bought his from Lowe's that uh, would hold uh, 40 gallon breeders. And when, when he built it, he only put two of them on there, but come to find out it's actually big enough to do three. I debated that for a while and then kind of forgot about it. And then before I was about to build this second shelf, uh, Inventory King put out a video and he did the video on the exact same shelf, but he got it for, from uh, Home Depot. And this time he actually stacked three 40 gallon breeders on there. So I decided instead of building another shelf, which is a lot of work, it's fun, but it's sometimes when it, you can just buy it, it's a lot easier. So I went ahead and I went ahead and bought, I went ahead and bought that shelving. Okay, it's upside down. Might be able to see it a little better if it is right side up. Okay, so um, you'll notice it actually has five shelves to it. Um, so we're only going to want to do three because um, it'll be too tall to get a, uh, you couldn't get another 40 gallon in there, like go through the ceiling. So um, some of the things that, that about this one is, if you notice, it, it has 4,000 pounds as its total capacity. And that's evenly distributed on 800 pounds per shelf. Okay, so we're going to use, we're only going to use three shelves. So if it's a maximum of 80 pounds per shelf, let's figure this out. So you got a 40 gallon breeder, 40 gallons of water in it. Water weighs about eight pounds per gallon. So you've got about 320 gallons, 320 pounds of water. And then the tank itself is about 40 pounds, maybe 50 pounds, something around there. So we're at about 370 pounds total. And then let's say you put in rocks, wood, whatever else, that might be another 40 pounds. So you're hanging out around probably 400 pounds. Again, these shelves can each hold 800 pounds each. So as far as the weight goes, this thing is only coming half of what the maximum amount is. Now, if it came, if it held like 450, and I'm talking about putting 400 on there, I don't think I would trust it in the long run. But since this thing holds 800, it, since this thing will hold 800 pounds, <clears throat> I'm not worried about this thing at all. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and let's take this down to the fish room. And we've already got the spot there that we we're going to put the other shelf. Let's go ahead and start building it, because one of the problems that I've noticed uh, and that also Inventory King talked about is the fact that when you look at the size of this shelf, it's a 36 by 18. That is the exact same size as a 40 gallon breeder. So. When you put this thing together, you have to put one shelf together, then you have to put the tank in, then you have to put the next shelf above it, put the tank in, then the next shelf above it, and then put the tank in. So in other words, if for some reason you needed to remove the bottom tank, you couldn't remove it without removing the top two tanks, which uh, makes me a little bit uneasy. I'm not real happy about that, but I don't see really a reason why I would need to remove the bottom one. But you know what Murphy's Law is? <laughs> Murphy's Law says that if I use this, there's gonna be a reason I need to move that bottom one, which means I'm gonna have to tear down two of the tanks above it. So right now, I'm basically talking myself out of setting this shelf up. <laughs> oh, but I'm not. I'm gonna go downstairs. We're gonna go into the fish room, and then I'm gonna show you putting this thing together so you can see exactly what it looks like when you're trying to get these tanks in beforehand.
All right, so, yeah, I'm out of breath. Let's talk about this shelf, okay? I'm not a fan. And so, the first tank, to get the first tank in, it took two of us to get it in there and you have to put it in there like perfectly and then just slide it straight down because there's no extra room for it to fit. The second tank, I was able to put in, set it at an angle, turn it, raise it, do some cockamamie stuff, and then get it to set in. It wasn't so bad. The third tank up this high was way more difficult. Took two of us to get it, had to do all kind of twisting, turning, lifting, until we finally got it to drop into place so that it smashed our fingers. Whew. Yeah, I'm not ever buying one of those again. And the way that this thing pieces together, so let's let's spin you around here. So these, the legs here, the legs should be one single piece, but the, they're not. They come together right here. And right here where they come together, they're just literally just sitting on each other. And then the way the shelf hooks in is what holds them actually together. Not a fan, not a fan at all. Uh, again, I know it's designed to hold that amount of weight and I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little reluctant about putting water in it. I'm gonna be pretty nervous, even though even when I do my wooden stands, I'm still nervous as I'm putting those things together. So, um, build your own stand. That, that's, that's my view on this, build your own stand. Uh, I'm tired and I'm glad that the tanks are on the stand now. Thanks again, guys, for stopping by. Really appreciate each and every one of you. If you've got any comments, please be sure and leave your comments down below. So thanks again, guys, for stopping by, and God bless.